Hey there guys, it's Dom here, and we're back with, um, War of the Roses, so, I bought the game, which means I'm in the beta, and, um, so we're starting up a new game soon, it's multiplayer, I haven't really played too much of it, uh, as you can see I've unlocked these guys, and I've gotten one custom class, but really I need quite a lot of money to be able to afford to make your custom class as good as the default one, so right now I'm sticking to this guy right here, I think he's pretty good. Um, so yeah, I bought this game because I've been playing a lot of Mountain Blade Warband recently, and I've kind of been looking for a similar game, and this one, unfortunately, is not going to have the awesome single player stuff, like, um, being able to, you know, make a kingdom, I'm always on the Lancaster side, because, um, they won in the end, in history, so, uh, I know a fair bit of this history because I quite like reading about the Tudors and like Henry VIII and stuff like that. Uh, you know that kind of medieval history. I would enjoy that. So yeah, let's let's uh, get head into this Kill game. The enemy. Kill the enemy. Kill the Yorkists. Yorkists. All right. Cool. Um, yeah. So the combat in this is so similar to Mountain Blade. I love it. I think he's heading back to try to get the archers. I'm not going to bother about him. Yeah, he's just distracting people, to be honest. Get him, though. Alright, um, now, it's not gonna be able to see so well when I have the visor on, but it does protect my face, which is kind of important. Alright, so after after you knock people down, you have to execute them to really kill them. Oh, shit, I think I'm hitting my friend. Oh, right in the face! Right in the face! Alright, uh, oof. We got some archers there. Um, all right, I'm gonna put the visors on, and I'm gonna charge it. So yeah, these visors—they really limit your. What the fuck? Come on, don't hit me! Oh shit! I hit my friend there. <laughs> it's so hard to avoid um friendly fire in this game because you're just trying to swing at the enemy, and they're always getting in the way. Oh, see, like that—he could have easily hit me. But um, now this guy's dead. Come on, don't get in my way. Move. Oh, this guy's dead. Come on. He's trying to run away. That means he needs a bandaging. I'm pretty certain this guy's gonna bleed out if I keep. See? Yeah. Alright, kill streak. Awesome. Except now I'm kinda stuck in their base. They're gonna wanna revive him, but um. Ah, oh, crap. Crap. No! Oh, god. Okay, I'm turning the visor off so you can see a bit more. Yield, yield! Oh, thank god. I fucking hate being executed. Being, this game, they have these things after you die called executions, and they are just brutal. They are absolutely brutal. You have to watch this guy. Um, you have to lie on the ground hoping a teammate will come back and kind of help you up. But while you're waiting, you're just if if the enemies get to you first, then oh good, I got I got an execute. Look at that guy. So I guess at least once in this game, I'm gonna be the one getting executed and that is a sight it really it adds so much like fear and satisfaction to the game Just don't hit me Ooh. Ooh, okay this guy all right visors on now pe when people slash at your face and you've got visors off they tend to do a load of damage like you can take someone out in one hit if you swipe them and face. Ah, oh, crap. Alright, um, I'm not gonna yield this time so you can see the execute. I'll turn my visors off. Look at that. That's just brutal. That's absolutely brutal. It makes it so scary to die. You're kind of waiting to be able to yield so that you don't have to sit through that. I mean, yielding doesn't give you any benefit than uh, being executed, except you give the enemies less points um, for money to buy stuff, but I guess that's like not really... Um, important for the game itself, uh, the round. And you don't lose points for being executed or yielding, so... Alright, uh, visors on. It's kinda, uh, it's, it's annoying these visors, you can't really see so well, but... They're kind of important, they give you a pretty big lead in terms of defense, so... Ooh. Crap, there's a load of them. Uh, I, I always love a shield, but those two-handed weapons, they do a lot of damage, see, like that, they just... 
Oh crap. Oh, oh no, I hate this. Oh, I hate those executions. I mean, it's so satisfying when you get an execution on another person, but when you're the one being executed, it's just so brutal. It's. Uh. Yes, alright, execute this guy. Execute him. Kill him. That's right, you motherfucker. Oh, he tried to stop the execute. So while someone is being... See, he didn't have his visor on, so... That's right, you want to try to stop me executing someone, you get executed. But um, yeah, so he didn't have his visor on, so that's why he took so much damage. Uh, when he got hit in the face. This guy's getting ganked up, so I'll give him a hand. Kill streak. Alright. Alright, I'm not gonna execute right here, because there's someone who can hit me. Ooh, yeah, another one. I'm gonna roll. Alright, that guy yielded. Ooh, is this a. Ah, oh, no. He's dead. Alright, I'm just gonna hide up. He's hitting our own teammates. Alright, I'm gonna hide off in the corner and bandage myself up. So one thing I don't like about this game is that when you get damaged, you can just bandage yourself up and you have unlimited bandages, so if you get a kind of quiet corner, you're able to do that. I don't think you should get unlimited bandages. Um, I don't I don't really even like the bandages at all, it's kind of unrealistic, um, in the sense that you can just put a plaster over it and you'll heal someone slicing your face in half. But, um, Multi-kill multi streak. Alright, visor's on. My health's getting a bit lower. But, um, come on, get this guy. Come on, come on. Fuck this guy up. Come on. Come on, he must be nearly dead. Execute him. Don't stop me. I hate it when you're trying to execute someone and then teammates come up and hit you because they want to get the execute instead. That's so frustrating. Alright, I'm going to heal up right here. Yeah, so I've played about maybe 5 to 10 of these games now. Um, not too many, so I'm not really very good yet, but um, I'm, I'm working on it. Let's get this guy from behind. Oh, that sounded bad. He doesn't even notice I'm here. I'm too busy trying to snipe off my mates. Come here. Oh crap, there's two of them. Alright, come on, take this guy out first. Ooh, in the face! That guy's down. I'm about to go down if I don't bandage up. Quick, bandage, bandage! Okay, if I can bandage, I can then get the execution on that guy. Come on, don't yield, don't yield, don't yield! Yes! Fuck you, trying to gang up on me, trying to snipe my friends, or snipe me. Yeah. Alright, uh... I need to bandage up right here, so I'm just gonna try to hide in this corner. I mean, yeah, bandaging is really useful, but I guess it's fair because everyone. I mean, it's not like an unfair thing. Everyone can do it, you know. It's um, it's good when you survive. You don't need to go back and heal anywhere or anything like that. But it's just a bit. I don't know. It's a bit um. Oh, this guy's good. He's got special armor. That means he's got a custom class. That means he's uh, probably paid played a lot of this game. Got lots of money. Alright, visor's on. Oh crap, being sniped as well. Oh crap, okay. If I get one more hit on me, I'm dead. I need to hide behind the corner and bandage up. Ooh, right in the middle of the battle. Come on, bandage. Ah, oh, fuck. Don't tell me I got hit by a friend. I bet it was a friend. That cow, he's a fucking. No. I got friend lead. Oh, I'm gonna. Oh, I shouldn't have yielded. I've got teammates there, they can revive you. So I haven't revived any teammates yet, I kinda wanna show that off, but um, we're winning so far, so that's good. Uh, let's try to charge into there. Watch him, see, he can do the execution, that's pretty awesome. Alright, let's chase down this guy. Is he gonna suicide or something? Nope, he's bandaging up, but I'm not gonna let him. Oh crap! Come on! Fucking wall! So in this game, oh, tight corners are difficult. But no, I'm not letting you bandage up. Oh, crap. He's, he's already bandaged up, I think. Shield. We have the upper hand. Okay, come on, Archer. You can't beat me. I'm a fucking warrior. Alright, visor's up. I mean, visor's down, I guess. Uh, let's get him. Oh, in the face. Oh, fuck. But he got me as well. I reckon he's not got much in him, though. 
just in time. Woo. So yeah, that was a round of um, War of the Roses. Let's see how I did. 11 kills and 5 deaths. That's actually not too bad. That's really good. Um, considering that I've only played less than like 10, 10 of these games, that's actually really not bad. I'm quite proud of myself. <laughs> But, um, no, I've played Mountain Blade Warband, like, the past week quite a lot, so I guess I'm used to that kind of combat, even though it's not exactly the same, but yeah. I might do a Mountain Blade Warband video, um, maybe a series, but maybe just a couple of videos here and there. I, I really like the single player. I haven't really dabbled too much in the multiplayer, um, but imagine, like, this, except with worse graphics, except, but, um, you're, like, besieging castles, you're going up siege towers, um, you have like really big battles. These ones, I think they're limited at 32 people, so it's like 16 on 16. But, um, Mom Blade Warband, I'm pretty sure you can get up to like 200 people. So, they're huge battles. Um, there are expansions to that, uh, Napoleonic War, and there's a new one, Fire and Sword. But I don't really like them because I, I kind of lose interest in this history when, um, guns get introduced. They're kind of OP. <laughs> But yeah, I don't know, I, I'm not really too into guns, I really like swords and um, bows and crossbows, especially bows. I might try the bowmen, though, um, I, I haven't really, um, they, they don't really have a battleground yet in, in this, in the beta, so I'm kind of waiting for that. Oh crap, am I, no, I can't be in the roses, I need to be Lancaster. Come on, come on, someone join York. I refuse to join them, alright, cool. So, um, since I bought it on Steam, uh, pre-purchased on Steam, I get the, uh, Lancaster Deluxe the Pack. Enemy. That means that, um, I get, like, if I'm on the Lancaster side, I get, uh, special armor and stuff. Although I haven't unlocked them yet. I'm not sure if they're released yet or if they get released on the actual, uh, release date. So I'm not sure if I can get them yet. But, um, but when I do get them, that'd be awesome. They look really cool. Um... So in this game, you get money by just, I guess, playing games, killing people, capturing objectives if they have them, stuff like that. Um, and then you can buy armor, you can make your custom guys, get perks, stuff like that. It's not like Call of Duty at all. Well, I mean, I guess, you know, you pick your stuff out, but it's not, it doesn't look similar to the interface or anything. And perks aren't exactly the same. But, um... They're cool. You need quite a bit of money to get a proper custom class started up though. Alright, let's get this guy. We've got plenty of people. We should be able to get him. It's embarrassing if we don't. I'm not even going to put my visor down because he's not aiming for me. Oh, come on. I got that kill. Oh, no! Oh, I hate that. Fucking cavalry. I hate cavalry on both sides because um, even your teammate cavalry, when they ride past you, they tend to knock you. And you often fall over stuff. Right, let's execute this guy. I know this battle going on around me, but I fucking love getting executed, and I hate getting executed. I try to yield. Sometimes I like to play this little game where I, um, I don't yield, so they walk all the way over to me. Let's execute him. Yeah, I got the execute. Yeah, so sometimes, um, I let them walk over to me, and then I yield, so I kind of waste some time. Plus, it's a bit of a tease, you know, they kind of get pissed off, they're annoyed. Alright, he's running away because he's cornered. Oh, crap. Alright. Oh, yeah, definitely need my base plate up. We're down. There's so many of them. Can't see what's going on. I'm not gonna execute right now. I'm doing not too bad considering. Oh, crap. Okay, I'm fucked. I'm dead. Cornered. I'm dead. Uh, sprint. Come on, come on. Bandage. Ah, oh, crap, I died. No, I couldn't get out of that. There were way too many people there. Way too many. Alright, so our team's are drawered right now. Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna finish this game. Yeah, there's too many of them around. My teammates aren't around. Okay, so when when you revive someone, I think it doesn't count as a death. So, um, they can, you know, it's obviously good for your team to revive people. But, um,. I, it's a bit of a waste of time, you know, it's time that you spend off the battlefield because you're kind of waiting around seeing if your teammate will come revive you. Plus you have a chance of being executed while you're waiting and that's just awful. Like, being executed is like the worst feeling ever. I 
absolutely hate it. Oops, I knocked over my friend. Okay, that kind of fucked him over there. Sorry about that. I'll help you out though. Alright, visor's down. Protect your face. Is he gonna go for the execute? No, teamwork then, I'll go for it. <laughs> uh, yeah, usually, sometimes, some people don't like to go for execute. They tend to think it's a waste of time to just walk away. Uh, maybe they'd go do other stuff, you know? And I, I enjoy doing executes, so I tend to take it over from there. Sometimes if I have teammates with me and uh, they want to get them, then you know, I let them have it. It's, um, it doesn't matter really. It's just a bit of fun. Okay, so I'm going to try to kill this guy and then revive my teammate. Oh crap. Let's see him. <sighs> Lock and... Oh, I nearly had him. Good, good, good. The armor you have, um, I have medium armor, but if you have heavy armor, you tend to block a lot of blows. Alright, check off visor. We're three against one. See, his shield's blocking most of it, but sometimes if you slash his helmet or if you slash his armor, that also takes care of it. So he's probably gonna take the execute. Let's watch him get there. Oh, uh, yeah, that's satisfying. Let's band aid up a little bit. Um, so there's no health bar in this game, but you can kind of tell how damaged you are from how bloody the screen is. Alright, let's fuck this guy up. Okay, we got the execute. Awesome. Yeah, die, motherfucker. So in this game, especially when you come to customizing armor and stuff, people recognize you and it gets really personal with the executes and everything. One hit me. He's going for the other guy. He doesn't care about me. Oh, now he's... Crap, there's so many of them. Ah, oh, shit. Alright, I'm gonna have to try to... Ah, oh, crap. Yeah, no, I couldn't do it. Oh, no! No! Oh, oh that's so horrible. I hate that. Oh. Fuck, man. Hell. Alright, we're losing at the moment. We have to really catch up. Um, this game's so good, actually. I'm... I absolutely love it. I'm really into medieval themes, um, really into this time period of history. So for me, it's really exciting to play a game like this. I mean, I, I, when I was younger, my dad was always really keen on studying about Henry VIII and all of his wives beheaded, died, killed, whatever. Beheaded, died, killed. But um, I was never really interested. That's just because you know you're being forced to learn it. But uh, now, no, I, I kind of want to learn it on my own. So it's pretty fun. Okay, he's getting it. That's fine. Let's uh, band-aid up. Good, we won a little battle there. We've evened up. Crap, there's a lot. Don't run into it like that. Alright. Definitely need our visors here. Oh, yeah. Now, these two-handed things, it's hard because you don't really have much chance to block. But um, you tend to swipe before your enemies, and that really helps. Plus, um, people who have two-handed swords are generally wearing very heavy armor, and that tends to deflect most of the blocks anyway. Alright, this guy's trying to run away. He must be low. Oh, crap! I can't believe I let that happen. Alright, come on, revive me. Come on, take care of him, take care of him. Cavalry! Oh, he wasn't low. He was just running back. No, I should have yielded. No, 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 no. Oh. oh god, it's so brutal, the, um, it's so fucking brutal, the executions, just, uh, it's, it's nearly cringing, it's like, oh no, I mean, it kind of makes you feel like you're actually, how did he get me in one hit? Oh no, not again, Ugh, fuck off, alright, alright, that's fine, no, but it makes you feel connected to the character because it's um, from his point of view of course and so you're kind of you're seeing what it would look like from if you were in that position and it makes you like think about it you're lying on the ground you know you're wearing this heavy armor you can't get up um, you're kind of just in pain and suddenly this guy comes over to you grabs on to you and starts you know executing you and you're trying to you know your hands kind of go up try to um, fight him off a little bit, but like it's no use. You're done. Oh, that must be an awful feeling. You're kind of like 
begging for mercy by then, you know, but he's just not showing any. He's stabbing you in the face. Oh, it's horrible. I think, yeah, I, I, I think Medieval Times really cool and be awesome to, you know, be a knight and all that, but if you think about it, it must, battles must be awful. You're wearing all this really heavy armor, it'll be really hot. Everything's kind of slow moving, it's not that glorious, really. And it's also, you know, you have a really high risk of death. It's awful. Alright, he's nearly done, I'm gonna go chase after him. Ah, oh, come on, don't get in my way. Yeah, he's dead. Let's watch him get the execute. Yeah, good on you, you deserve that, you fucking twat. Alright. <clears throat> okay. Let's, uh, let's go on then, let's try to, try to finish this game. We're losing by a little bit, not much. Alright, visor's on, this guy looks like a big enemy. Yeah, get hit by your own cavalry. I hate cavalry on both sides because you get knocked over by them. Really, they're just meant to be a pain. They're not really good for anything else. I'm gonna bleed out. Someone's gonna hit me in the back. Yeah. I mean, at that point, you either bleed out and just fall on the ground. Oh no, no, fuck off. Ah, uh, that's awful. Looks like you're stabbing over my head though. That would miss. But uh, I must be on the hill. But yeah, that's. Uh, okay, let's go down there. Visor's up. Oh, I got him in the face. Oof, God, it's hard to see. Okay, I'm not gonna chase too far. I'm gonna focus on this side. That guy's kind of toggling with his visor. Oh, shit, I'm gonna be dead. I think he is too though. Okay, band-aid, come on. Nah. I shouldn't I, I couldn't disengage from him though. He doesn't know how to execute. Oh no no no. Oh, oh teammate saved me. Even though he did stab me, technically, the animation hadn't finished. And because of that okay, I'm gonna yield here. No, no, don't execute me. Fuck. Alright, yeah, I got executed. Hold on. Oh, it's such a close game. I feel like I'm not really contributing as much as I should be. Last round I did well contributions. Okay, you deserve that execution. He's not gonna go get it though. I'm gonna get it then. Yeah, stab you in the face. Ah, uh, you know he's you know he's sitting there watching you kinda of being like, ah, oh, piss off jerk. You still get him. Yeah, let's execute him too. Trying to get me from behind? No way. No way. Alright, cool. Uh, let's try to ram into that guy. Ooh, that failed. Okay, it's really hard when you have so many teammates around because you tend to slash them and you, you don't want to do friendly damage. At the same time, you, you're trying to hit the enemy and they're kind of jumping in your way and you're jumping in their way, they're hitting you, you're hitting them. Alright, okay, we're, we're in the lead, we just need to back off. I was trying to rescue him from that, he was trying to... Alright, I need visors up. I think there's a guy behind me, yep, yeah, there is. Oh, crap. Come on, come on, back off. Band-aid, 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 band-aid. Ah, oh, fuck. No, he's gonna execute me too, isn't he? <gasps> oh, god, he isn't. Come on, three, two, one. He's gonna try to... YIELD! Ah, ha, ha, ha. No execute for you. Alright. That is satisfying when you don't get executed. God, okay, we're still winning, but... Come on, stick together, guys. Don't spread out. Ah, oh, fucking cavalry. See, cavalry is just annoying for everybody. Yeah, you f Okay, I'm gonna get him because he's cavalry. Oh, don't stab me, teammate. Oh, crap. I did a lot of damage to my teammate. Though. No, I want him. 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 Ah, oh, no. I want to get him. I fucking hate cavalry, people. 
Like, I, I can see his uses, and like when we have cavalry on our side, they are really useful. But at the same time, it's kind of. They're just so annoying, because even the ones on your team, they bump into you, and they kind of shake you around when you're trying to execute someone. No, they don't, we do. Oh crap, there's a lot of them here, I shouldn't go in for this. Okay, come on. Come on. You're nearly dead. You're nearly dead for sure. Oh crap, I'm nearly dead. I'm dead. No, I can't be the last one. No! Oh, thank god it wasn't me, because I wasn't killed yet. But, oh, what a bad way to end. Oh, that was so close. Okay, well, that's the end of the video, guys. Um, So, yeah, this is War of the Roses. Um... I think the beta is only out for like one more day though, but it's going to come out soon in about a week or two, so if you want to get into that, you know, um, either pre-purchase or you can wait, but if you pre-purchase, you will get, um, you will get the deluxe pack for free, and also, if you have Mountain Blade, um, either the original Mountain Blade Warband or Mountain Blade with Fire and Sword, you get 20% off, so if it's in, say, your Steam library and you buy it. Yep, if uh, anyone wants to see what kind of customization you can do, I'll show you. So this guy I'm kind of making, but... Um, you kind of... Okay, I really want to get him a shield, so let's select shields. Um, yeah, it's a little buggy right now. That looks shit. That looks good. Yeah, I want that one. Purchase. Yeah, it's a little buggy right now, but, um, ooh, steel plate, hardened steel plate. Gives you more encumbrance, I think, which makes you slower and less mobile. But it gives you more health and more damage exhaustion and more protection. I don't know, it gives you less health. What? It gives you less health and less damage exhaustion, but more penetration protection. Hmm. I don't know what I want to do. Hardened shields have better penetration, but less weight, less health and way more. I don't know. Sounds better. I really, I use my shield a lot, so I think that'll be quite good. Cool. So we've got a shield now for our guy. Um, you can pick a main weapon. You have like pole arms, you know, crossbows, but you need perks if you want to use range stuff. But I could have a two-handed sword. Um, everything you have, you you'd have to buy it, and you have to be over a certain EXP level to use them. Um, but yeah, you, you do, this is not, um, like, it's not paid money, it's, uh, you earn it through games. So yeah, uh, thanks for watching guys, this has been War of the Roses Beta. Um, I hope you guys enjoy, I've got some other stuff planned for the channel soon, which I hope will be really fun. Um, I might do Mountain Blade Warband a little bit while this is down, um, to be released. You know, when the beta's down, waiting for it to be released. So, um, yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, subscribe if you're not a subscriber. And give me a thumbs up and a comment. You know, that I appreciate that. I'll see you guys next time.